plate with Redefined Horizons. And what I want to do in this video is show you how we can take some information in a scope of services for a surveying project and convert those to tasks in a base camp project for that survey. And even though this is going to be survey specific, kind of land development specific, it's applicable to a lot of different uh, real estate consulting workflows, so hopefully it'll be beneficial for um, other professionals besides just land surveyors. So I've got this project we're doing. It's a subdivision, so it's right here. It's at uh, 59 Old Stagecoach Road, so we'll pop that open. And I'm going to go into my to-dos here, my base camp project. And we've got our four standard task list here, but what we're going to do is we're going to add some custom, what we call custom to-do lists based on our scope. So let's uh, let's go ahead and pull up our scope. So if I go in here to my uh, project folder under my uh, contract admin, we can open up our scope, take a look at that. So what we want to do is we want to go through each task in the scope and make sure that we're adding the appropriate tasks. We don't want to forget anything that's in this scope. So this process of mapping the scope of services to the tasks in base camp is actually really important. And we're not going to do we're not going to do everything. I'll probably just do these maybe these first two tasks, task one and two. So you can see right here, task one in our scope is preliminary land use planning. So I'm just going to jump over to base camp and make a custom to-do list with that name. Okay. And you can even say SOS task one. Okay, so now we've got a new task list and then we, we want to say, okay, what do we got to do in here? All right, so... Uh, we need to research and review the applicable Brent, uh, City of Brentwood land use regulations. And uh, that includes the general plan, specific plan, and zoning. And then prepare a zoning report. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to come over here and we're going to say prepare zoning report. Let's say uh, research and review land use regulations first. Okay, and we're going to give this to Danny, it's his project, and uh, we're going to say uh, no due date for now, and uh, we're going to add some notes here, so we need to uh, review the general plan, we need to review the specific plan, I know there's a specific plan that applies to this, and we're going to review the zoning rigs, okay. Add that. Okay, and then we're going to prepare the zoning report. Okay, and again, we're going to give this to Danny. He's going to prepare the zoning report for us. And uh, we're not going to, we don't need any notes or due dates on that. And then we're going to review the zoning report. Yeah, I'm going to actually change that. I'm going to say perform peer review of the zoning report. And I'm going to give this to myself. Okay, so let's see if we got anything else in there we need to include. Sorry, guys. So uh, on uh, that covers 1A. On 1B, uh, we need to check the FEMA flood zone and prepare a flood risk analysis report. Okay, so we're going to say we're going to make that into two tasks. So review the FEMA firm and we're going to prepare the flood risk summary okay we're going to give this to Danny and we're going to give this to Danny okay and again no no due dates or notes on those okay so that should cover task 1a and 1b then 1c uh, we're going to have some preliminary discussions about developing the parcel. And uh, we're going to prepare a technical memo of the permits and fees that uh, will, will be needed to move through the tentative parcel map phase. 
Okay, so we're going to break that into a couple tasks. So we're going to say uh, discuss applicable fees and permits needed for tentative map submittal and approval with the city of Brentwood. And then we're going to say prepare development potential technical memo. Okay, and we're going to give uh, both of these to Danny. Okay, so we've set up uh, the scope of services task one, the to-dos for that. So we can jump back up to our to-dos and we're going to do one more. Okay, so our next task on this is uh, UAV aerial orthophoto. So we're going to say SOS task two, UAV orthophoto. Okay, and this one will be a little simpler. So uh, we need to prepare a, a high resolution, low color, high resolution, low altitude color orthophoto. So, so now we got to break that down a little bit. So uh, we're gonna perform mission planning and prepare flight plan. Okay, and we're gonna give that to Danny. So then we're going to perform the UAV flight, and we're going to process UAV photos in Pixar D. Sorry, those are my dogs going crazy. Be quiet. Okay, we're going to give that to Danny too. So Danny's a busy guy on this project. Now you may wonder, you may be asking yourself, hey, none of that was in this paragraph, Landon, in the scope, so how did you know what to add here? Well, there's two answers to that. One is I just know from experience what we need to do to get a UAV orthophoto, and the other is, um, you know, hopefully your company has a, a workflow. So if you know what you're telling the, the client, most of my clients are clients here at Redefine Red. They don't need all the detail. They don't want to know every step that we're going to do. Um, so this is kind of a summary, right? What they really care about is where they're going to get. They're going to get a UAV orthophoto for the tentative parcel map that we're doing. Okay, but if you have a workflow, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. I just did one for uh, GPS, static GPS network. So if you have a workflow, then you can come in here to your workflow and look at all these tasks here. And these, all these individual tasks would go in Basecamp. Okay? And so uh, that, that's where I'm coming up with that information. Alright, so now we come back here to our project in Basecamp, go into our to-dos. Now we have two scope tasks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this two underneath one. And then I like that these urgent tasks that need to be finished, I'm going to just move up to the top. Okay, and I know that I need to prepare an invoice. 
So I'm going to put that in there for myself, prepare the first invoice. And that's going to go to me. Okay. Anyways, what I uh, primarily wanted to show you guys in that in the video was how you can take a scope of services that looks like this, use the information in the scope of services and any workflows that your company has, and then you can actually come in here and spell out the tasks that need to be done to meet that scope of services. And this is really important because your scope of services should govern the work that your team's performing on a project. You want to make sure that you don't do out-of-scope work without being paid, and you want to make sure that everything that you included in the scope is performed for the client. You don't want to find out the day a deliverable is due that your team forgot to do something. So this, this process of mapping the scope that goes in the contract to the to-do list in Basecamp is really important. And you might be using a different project management software. Maybe you're not using Basecamp. Maybe you're using a Trello or you're using Rike or you're using um, Excel even. Uh, but this, this you're going to repeat the same process. That's really important. I, I encourage the project surveyor or the land surveyor and responsible charge to actually do this work. So, All right, guys, I like to keep these videos to 10 minutes, and I'm a little bit over. I hope you find that helpful. And, uh, you know, in the future, when it seems appropriate, I'll try and do some more videos on base camp and kind of project management for, for real estate consulting. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate